All right, we're on problem number 97. We're really close to the end. So what would I do over here? I don't know. If I were looking at it, I'd probably say, oh, maybe a u substitution would work out. Let me write that down for a u equals 1 plus e to the x. du would be e to the x dx. Let's see if we can write that down, see if it gets any easier. And what are you going to get? You can get 1 over u. That's relatively simple. And then what do you get? Well, dx is actually, oh boy, this is going to be complicated, isn't it? So let's write this down. So really, u minus 1 is equal to e to the x. All right, so what are you going to get? You're going to get du over e to the x, which is u minus 1. All right? So that, that's not so bad. I'm, I'm starting to see maybe it's partial fractions now. Let's take a look. So let me write this down for you. And this is going to be 1. This is going to be u. u minus 1 du. Let me do my partial fractions. I'll do it on the side for you. So 1, u, u minus 1, a over u, plus b over u minus 1. You would get 1, a, u minus 1, plus b, u. I'll let u equal 0. That would give you a equals minus 1. And then I'm going to say... Um, u equals 1, and that would lead to b equals 1. I can write that down now. And what do you get over here? Let's be careful now. And what do you get again? a is minus 1, so you get minus 1 over u. The b was 1, 1 over u minus 1 du. Let's keep moving forward. This is going to be minus the natural log of the absolute value of u plus the natural log of u minus 1 plus some constant integration. What was u? Well, we just did it. it the u turned out to be, what did I do this before? Um, where did I write that down? Oh, I'm sorry. It's 1 plus e to the x. And this is going to be plus the natural log of 1 plus e to the x. just going to be e to the x here plus some constant integration. Let's simplify a little tiny bit. And um, the natural log of e to the x is just going to be um, x. Uh, and then you're going to get minus the natural log. And 1 plus e to the x is always positive. So don't have to worry about that anymore, the absolute value of it, plus c. Put a little box on it. Get my red pen out and see if we have that listed as an answer. And we do. We have that answer listed. It's time to move on to the next question. Thank you.